everybody my name is angie morenga you're watching just angie it's the voices of the ecclesia and uh, we're continuing in a series that we're doing with just joyce omondi Wahiga. and i love the series because it's all about epic africa uh, women assembly um just an amazing assembly and platform that she started that's empowering the voice empowering the voices of her generation and um so we've been talking about we talked about empowered in the first sunday we talked about prayer because they're prayer for women and then they are influential women yes. and i want to read a scripture so i felt a leading to first peter 2 9 mm -hmm. and the bible says but you are a chosen people a royal priesthood a holy nation God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. And I just kept feeling the premise was that we've been called out, you know, so we've been called out of the dark place and we've been called into light to influence. And then I thought just before I let you weigh in, mm. I found the definition. I was like, wow, that influence means the capacity to affect character development. I was like, wow or behavior of yeah. someone or something. Perfect. So it's the ability to affect um, character development or behavior of someone or something. And therefore that scripture is very, very powerful because yeah. God is one who has chosen us. He's created us and made us priests and sons and kings. Mm -hmm. And we are holy so that we may sort of like declare his praise, show off his praise, become the example of that praise yeah. even as we influence and the purposes of God. So I found that scripture really amazing because I was thinking, you know, I was thinking when I walked into that room um, and I was, I was like, wow. So the influence is for a purpose mm -hmm. because you have influence. You, you have a, you're a, you're a TV host. You're a, a celebrated musician and a successful musician and a, and a worship minister. So the, the, you have these ways that God has pushed you into the limelight. But then I was like thinking for his glory, it's all for his glory. Because the other reason that the women come is that you have very, very many followers on, on social media. So they come because they also, there's an element of your influence. You have the power to pull them and to gather them mm -hmm. and to say, come. And you see when, when people are influential, just to go back to like your generation, they seem to be not very nice people. I don't know why, because my daughter gets that. So the, she's the only example I have. So people will say to Althea, oh, you're really nice. And I'm like, always oh, as opposed to, even her, she's always like, as opposed to what? But because <laughs> she's, I think, beautiful, she's beautiful, not I think, I know she is, but somehow that is associated with being crazy. Like, <laughs> why would you be mean? What, what has that got to do with anything, you know? Oh, but, or maybe it's her perception. <laughs> but perhaps. it really shocks me every time people say, oh, you're really nice. So sometimes we won't say it, but we look at each other and think like, as opposed to, what <laughs> could I be if I wasn't nice? But anyway, yeah. so influ it, influential. The women have to be influential. You know, this is, I think this is one of the pieces that is so important to me. Um, and in many ways, actually, now that I think about it, could really have been the impetus behind even starting Epic Women mm. because it, it was born out of, again, people wanting mentorship mm. and wanting me to walk with them and help them in their lives. Mm. Um, ever since I was a kid, and I've always believed that I am blessed to be a blessing. Amen. That alone is influence, right? Amen. That God oh, gives good. you space. He gives you opportunity. Mm -hmm. He gives you, um, you know, ideas, purpose, favor. Mm so that it can do something. Again, my whole thing is, it's not supposed to just end up with you. Yeah. If at the end of the day, all you can say is, oh, I was made this and I have this influence just so that I can buy a big house, a big mm. car, you mm. know, buy fancy, expensive clothes. I feel like you've missed the point. You've missed the whole point. You've absolutely missed the point. And mm. I love the definition that you've read about, you know, it's influencing behavior, character, character. Development. developing people. Because again, that's what I'm, that's what I'm preaching with Epic. Mm -hmm. um, when we look at the world today and what, you know, women are being pushed to, because mm -hmm. again, that was a huge impetus for starting Epic. I was like, mm -hmm. where are the women who think like I do? Mm -hmm. It boils down to everything, even, even fashion, even modesty. Yes. That alone is influential. And so for me, the message here is to say, by how you carry yourself, yeah. by your character, mm -hmm. by how you treat people, mm -hmm. all of that is influential. That is so true. And I, a while ago, I had uh, preached a message on, on influence and, and all of us have it. 
the 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 issue is whether your influence is positive or, or negative. negative. Wow, that's you're powerful. not. The, I I don't believe in neutrality. Mm -hmm. I just don't. I don't believe in neutrality. You're either hot or you're cold. Mm -hmm. Even the Bible says lukewarm people will be spat They'll out. Be spat out. Yeah. Spewed out. Yeah. So this I I don't really believe in this. I'm just sitting in the middle. There's something you believe. There's something that you're pushing. Uh, whether you, <laughs> you know, we can't just be vacuums. Our spirits uh, cannot be vacuums. You're either mm. going to be <laughs> filled with <laughs> what is of God or filled with what is not of God. Um, and so influence to me stems from that, that it is telling uh, the epic squad that you are influential in how you carry yourself, mm. in how you relate with the others. opposite sex, in how you dress, how you present yourself even as a woman. All of those are spaces for which we can be influential. And so I think what's important to, is, is recognizing that my influence may not look like your influence That's and so vice true. versa, mm. but that we all have a space. That's so when so I would grow up, like, like that. my parents, I'd, we'd always say, in my little corner of the world, like, let it be beautiful. If I'm a singer, if that's what mm. God has given me, let my little corner of the world just be sound beautiful. beautiful. If I'm an artist in that northern corner, let that just look fantastic. Let it look beautiful. Um, and even in the Bible, there's so many examples of people who are nameless, who had influence. such tremendous that's influence. So and so I think it's really about rising up from that as well because so many of us battle with really low self-esteem mm. and we struggle with oh you know i don't have this person's looks or i don't have this store there, well, there's, there's this such, platform mm -hmm, there's such honor in even being able to carry someone forward into where they are and like we were talking about naman his servants did that for yeah. him those were influential people yeah um uh and so I, and and part of it too is even when people are struggling with shame or regret or guilt from their past, mm. you know Rahab. You think about her, but she was mm. influential. Hey, she saved her whole family. Saved, saved her, her whole family, on Rahab. and she's in she the lineage of, <laughs> of Jesus. the Messiah. Yes, and you can imagine. I mean, I'm always thinking now that you say that. I love that you said that everybody has an element of influence. Everybody has influence within them. I'm just amazed. I'm I'm just thinking now that you brought up Rahab. Yeah. I mean, Rahab thought about her family when 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 the spy came she just said okay you have to save my whole family i just wonder because i like to wonder was there anybody who didn't turn up like who was that person <laughs> like is there somebody who said they must have been because they always is there must have been somebody who said hmm, hmm? who are you who are you <laughs> huh? this one we know her what does she mean you know these all, but she was influential yeah. even and she chose that moment that's another thing i've been learning she chose that moment to be to be influential, mm -hmm. to impact her family. Mm -hmm. So she didn't need any, she just, her influence was for her family and then yeah. she even got into the lineage of Jesus Christ. Absolutely. But she actually, what you said, everybody has an element of influence, influence a scope the, of influence. Exactly. The problem is, is, is about how we measure success, mm -hmm. right? So we always look at it as it has to be about big numbers, big stage, mm. lots of money. But the economy of God is so different. I was that studying so the other day amazing. about how in the economy of God, suffering is an honor. Imagine. And you look at Job's life. I mean, Job went through all of that mess because God was boasting about him. Imagine. <laughs> he said, have you tried my, my servant? Even he's like, look at my look servant. Look at my servant, Job. Go try him. That guy is not going to, he's not going to deny me. Yes. Go, go. But here see. on earth, we'd be looking at Job and We're saying, like, ah, this guy. In mercy. fact, his friends were there saying, you've sinned against yeah. God. You need to go and His repent. wife was saying, curse God and curse die. God and die. But I, I, so I think the, the problem is because we measure success differently and we look from at it from very like it. worldly terms. Whereas if we, stay empowered and prayerful we will understand that influence is so much bigger mm. than what we perceive it to be mm. that's so powerful Joyce. that i'm just really thinking through that is so so powerful but and that we all have a scope of influence because i'm Absolutely. thinking like if we just take even some of the women maybe who come for epic women africa assembly and others that you have a, a a little sister you have a little brother mm -hmm. that's your influence yes. you're impacting them on how you're gonna how you're how they're gonna behave, you yeah. know? Your parents, your uncles, your aunties, your cousins, your nieces. Because we're building an army. Yes. We're building an army. This is a movement, so it, it requires each of those pieces to play their part. Joyce yeah. Omondi can't be <laughs> everywhere, everywhere at all the time. Like, I, I, I cannot do that. And again, why this conversation on influence is so personal to me, my background's in economics and international mm. development. Mm. And I think about servant leadership yeah. and 
that is one of the core places where you can see influence, right? Like, <laughs> what is your motivation? What is the intent of your actions? Um, if we truly embrace influence as God has given it to us and, mm -hmm. and understand that it is, it is about more than ourselves, it will reflect in our transactions with people, mm -hmm. how we love other people, how we carry ourselves, how mm -hmm. we lead, how we govern. Mm -hmm. um, and so for me, that's, that's really, really key. And I feel everybody has a, has a space to play mm -hmm. um, in, in, in the influence that they, they you know, share mm -hmm. out into the world. That's amazing. So we all have influence and we all should now, I think, sit up and take notice and say, you know, who am I influencing? And even as you we were speaking, I was thinking of the many people who also are watching us who we necessarily don't know. Mm -hmm. Like they're not even in our space. They're, they're just, but they're watching yeah. and they're being influenced and they're modeling life. They are, they are learning something every yeah. day, you know? So just use whatever, whatever platform, whatever gift, whoever God has put around us yeah. um, to, to influence and to influence positively right. for the kingdom Absolutely. of God. And it, it's, it's a huge responsibility yeah. to be honest, yeah. right? Like, really especially is. as your influence grows yes. and the platforms get bigger, yes. it's a huge responsibility because mm. We can't deny that there are people who are extremely influential today, mm. but what they're encouraging people to do is not, is not, is not honorable to God, mm -mm. right? And, and the scripture tells us as we glorify God, it draws men to unto him. him. Yep. That is the point of influence. Yes. It is about drawing people, people to him. back to him, back yeah. to the cross. Mm. Um, and so we have to be careful. Mm. We have to be careful. Um, you know, in, in the language that we speak, what, what does that do? You know, when you're just out there, <laughs> if you're on the road and you have a tiff with someone on the road, the words that you speak to them, how does that influence them as far as even just your response? You know, you know, there's a way that you can respond mm. to someone who's wronged you and it, mm. it touches them. It changes their perspective about mm. something. Mm. Um, that alone is that, that to me is influence as influence. well. Yeah. That's really powerful. I love it. I really, really love it. I'm also thinking of Romans 12 too, that the Bible says we shall not be conformed to the ways of this yeah. world, but we shall be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And then you're transformed, not only to know God's will, but to do things. Mm -hmm. And the other one that says that everything we do must, must point people to the Father. Yeah. So it draws people to the kingdom of God. Yeah. So that's amazing. So let's be responsible with our influence. Absolutely. Really is. Embrace it, be Embrace responsible it. with it, um, and be content with it. Because again, we get lost when we think it has to be, oh, Joyce has this many followers on social media, mine needs to be the same. It's not like that. Be content with where God has put you at and be patient even as <coughs> it grows it. Amen. Amen. I love it. <laughs> I hope you loved it too. We'll be back next week for the last part, which I'm so excited about, Christ-likeness. I'm really, really excited about that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. Amen.